Plan Radar's user management system allows you to invite your whole team to a project, but only gives certain people access to specific information. This helps keep the team focused on only the information they need and works as a security measure so that sensitive information is only shared where it is required. There are three areas for managing users, roles, users and groups. Let's start with roles. Creating roles lets you set up a user's permission level once. Then you can easily apply the role to all users who require that access level. Navigate to User Management, then Roles. Click Add New Role. Here you can determine the level of access to tickets, documents, projects and project reports. Let's say you want your project leads to have full access. First name the role. Then select everything, adjusting each of the drop-down menus for full access to all information. Once done, click Save. Then, let's say each of your contractors are responsible for a specific part of the project and only need to access information that's relevant for their project area. You can adjust the role settings to limit their permissions. For example, you could allow them to create tickets, but only view tickets that are assigned to them. You could allow them to view documents, but only the documents within their tickets, not all documents on the project. You could allow them to view project details, but not edit them. And you could allow them to create project reports, but only view the reports they have created. By limiting their access, you keep their focus on the project's information that is relevant to their areas of work. Once a role is saved, you'll be asked if you want to assign the role titles automatically. This will make these roles available across the product, accessible when you are creating new users and creating new forms. The roles you have created appear within the user management, roles, and then can be edited or deleted by clicking on the more icon. Next, you'll set up users. Users is where you manage all of the members of your team. Navigate to the user management, then select users. You have the option of creating a user where you will set their name and password, or inviting a user where your team member will set up their own Plan Radar login. We'll look at inviting a user. First, you need to decide a user's level of access. There are three types. Subcontractor users are ideal for external vendors and partners. Tasks within tickets can be assigned to them, where they can update the ticket status and progress, add media and use the in-app chat to ask questions and provide updates. They can also export ticket reports and create project reports. Watchers have the ability to view project information and tickets. They can also download reports and export information but cannot update tickets or communicate with teams within the project. This role is ideal for someone who wants project oversight but is not actively involved in the day-to-day, -day, such as the owner or developer. In-house users may access the full plan radar functionality. However, it is possible to limit access if required. When adding an in-house user, you can choose which sections of plan radar they will have access to. These checkboxes align to the navigation on the left-hand side. If you're looking to connect Plan Radar with other software, you'll want to give API access to the members of your team setting up these integrations. Once you've created a user and selected their access level, you can assign them to projects. When selecting projects for in-house users, you will also assign a role. You can include a welcome message which the user will receive with their email invitation to join Plan Radar. If you click Save the Invitation Message, it will pre-populate the next time you invite a user. Click Invite User to complete the process and your team member will receive an invitation by email. Invited users will be listed under Unconfirmed Users until they accept their invitation. Then they will be listed in your users list. Finally, you can create groups. Groups allow you to bundle users together, so tickets can be assigned to a group of users rather than just one person. Navigate to the user management and select Groups. Click Create Group. 
Give your group a name. Select a group leader. Then select all other members of the group. Once complete, click Save. You can edit and delete groups here. Plan Radar's user management system allows you to facilitate team collaboration on construction and real estate projects and makes it easier to keep the correct information accessible by the right team members.